Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Pisces, and this is just a little weekend check-in for you, okay? I am doing my videos via TikTok to invite my TikTok viewers to come over to my YouTube channel to check it out. It's the same name that I have here. And if you subscribe over there and you'd like to increase your chances of me making a video for you, you can come back here. Um... I have a video pinned to the top that says YouTube. You can come there, you say subscribed, um, put your zodiac and what kind of reading you would like, and I will get to it. It won't be right away. I just need you to be patient with me. So tonight I will be using my tarot in Wonderland for this weekend, read. And to clarify, I'll be using my neoteric feminine tarot. So Pisces, let's see what messages we have for you. I said Pisces when I began. Let's see. Did I say Pisces? Hold on. Okay, I sure did. So, Pisces. So Pisces, this is for you. The Five of Pentacles. This is a mindset of lack. Stop. It's just temporary. It will go away. You might have spent a little money. You might have lost a little money or you might have done something. It's gone. Stop worrying about it. The Moon. Not seeing things clearly. The Eight of Pentacles. You're working very hard on something very diligently. You're very good at what you're doing. The Five of Cups, but you feel empty emotionally. What's going on? The Queen of Swords, this could be an energy in your environment, a Gemini, a Leo, a Gemini, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Who are you thinking about communicating to, if that's not an energy? The Seven of Cups, many choices are coming available. The world, fulfillment, darling, something came to completion. The Five of Swords, who are you arguing with? Take the high road and don't you argue with anyone. For you to argue with anyone, Pisces, that means they reach the end of their rope because you know you guys give people a long rope. You give people chance after chance after chance after chance. Anyway, the six of wands, you will be successful. So let's see the five of pentacles. Let's see the Five of Pentacles. Top of the Five of Pentacles, you got the Justice card. That's a cause and effect kind of thing. The Page of Pentacles, and you got the Wheel of Fortune. So if you are going through something legal, most likely it'll come in your favor. The Justice card can also say that you have achieved balance in your life. And whatever you gave out, you're going to get back. Okay, so if it was good stuff, you don't have to worry about it. This is about karma, cause and effect, okay? 
Um, the Page of Pentacles, you're very ambitious. You're probably manifesting some money. And you got the Wheel of Fortune. You are very lucky. You got karmic good luck on your side. And then the moon. You're not seeing something clearly. It's because of the Ten of Swords. Something came full circle for you. It could be could have been an ending. Ten of Swords is an ending. Um, it's like you hit rock bottom. It was like the worst. It, it, it broke you broke you. However, darling, you got the world card here. So you feel right now you should be feeling fulfilled. You should be feeling something well, you know what? Something came to completion for you. And it got you all tied up. It's something that ended. Could be a relationship that ended. It came to come full circle. And now you've trapped yourself in your head and you need to get out of there. Things happen in life. Don't beat yourself up. Pick up the pieces. Think of how many times your heart has been broken. Think of how many times you've picked yourself up. You're here, aren't you? You know it'll get better. Eight of Pentacles, you're working on something very diligently. I got the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the, and the Judgment card. Okay, so somebody is about... This Ten of Swords here, this person or this energy was uh, very tricky and they had a lot of lies around them. However, with all that behind you now, you got some choices. Doors are opening for you. You got the Seven of Cups and you got the Judgment card. You're going to do some self-evaluation. You're going to drop the guilt. You're going to release some stuff. And you're going to feel brand new again. You hear me? You're going to start loving yourself. You're going to choose you. And the Five of Cups here, you feel a little empty. Well, after a breakup and stuff, we do feel emotionally empty. You know, the thing about it is we don't want to stay in that feeling for too long. Because that way, that, that darkness has a way of sucking us up. Or sucking us down, whichever way, you know, you look at it. You got the Queen of Pentacles here. You got the Three of Wands and you got the Temperance card. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is talking about um, you being generous and you being able to handle your money. Or this could be an energy in your environment, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And then the Three of Wands, um, you're very confident. There's a lot of growth and you're looking ahead. And there's balance and moderation. Or you have found balance and moderation in your life. And patience. But you're still thinking about communicating to someone about something here. You got the magician, the ten of pentacles, and the devil. You're very magical and you're coming into some money that's unexpected. However, you have something unhealthy around you. I don't know what that is. Only you would know. This could be emotion. This could be sadness. This could be um this could be loneliness. This could be addictions. This could be um not wanting to let go of certain things or, or people. It could be an abusive um, environment or relationship. Only you know what it is and you need to take care of that negative energy around you, okay? Then you got the Seven of Cups. On top of the Seven of Cups, you got the King of Swords, you got the Death Card, and you got the Two of Wands. So that could be an air energy in your environment, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and there's an ending of something and something new coming. And you're making, um, you, you have a choice to make. You have two paths, you're making decisions. And then you got the world. Something comes full circle again. It's coming pretty fast. Some excitement is coming. Some fresh ideas. And you're going to start seeing things clearly. And you got the seven of wands. You're above your challenges. Okay? And then you got the five of swords. You got this conflict here. What is this conflict? On top of that, you got the nine of swords, the ace of wands, and the six of pentacles. Whatever it is, it's keeping you up. It's giving you a lot of fear and anxiety. Sometimes we have to navigate through the anxiety and the fear while we're being scared or while being scared. So we can do it. Once you push past that anxiety and fear, you got a, hand, a handle on this. You hear me? So you got a brand new beginning here and you got balance coming back and then you got the six of wands here on top of the six of wands victory you got the mindset of lack again you got the four of cups and you got the strength card you need to go within and find yourself and you will find your strength darling i love you guys you got a hold on this you got this okay navigate through the fear i love you and i'll chat with you soon bye